We're gonna be using blur more curves for this shake. So just find the S blur more curves and then add the default to your clip. Then you wanna put wrap X and Y to reflect. So we get these reflections on the sides. I'm gonna animate rotate, shift X and shift Y for this shake. Then drag these keyframes to the end. At the start, I wanna put the shift Y and shift X to 0 0.05 and the rotation to zero. So just, just click on rotate here. So this one is selected, and then add keyframe. Then I'm gonna go to the middle of the clip and put shift X and Y to minus 50 instead. Like this. And then between these keyframes, I'm gonna put a rotation keyframe. Make the first one minus two. Then go between these keyframes and put another rotation keyframe with a value of two. Then I'm gonna click on one keyframe, hold control and then click on the other two. Then hold shift and click on one of these keyframes at the end. Then all of these will get selected. Then just right click on any keyframe and choose smooth fade. Then all of them should change to smooth fade. But I want to make the first rotation keyframe a fast fade. And then the, also the last rotation keyframe a slow fade. This will give the same result as if we used a smooth fade but put it over here like a rotation keyframe with a value of 2 and then with a smooth fade. So then it would go from slow and and be, become faster and the fastest part would be here and then it would become slow again. So this will, this will look exactly the same but we won't have to use a, a layer to, to make the shake. Now we're basically done, looks like this. See we're getting a bit of reflection here. Then I'm gonna add a zoom out on top of this shake. So I added another blur mode curves, put it above the shake. Then I'm gonna animate CDs. Put this keyframe at the end. And just this is just a simple zoom out but you can use any transition of course as you can see it's a bit too blurry right now that's because of the shutter duration so i'm gonna go to the shake and then put the shutter duration to 0 0.5 you can also turn it off completely but i think a, a little bit of shutter duration looks good on shakes so now we have this instead. Then if you were to use a zoom in instead, then you wanna, I'm just making a quick one. You shouldn't make zoom in, zooms like this, by the way, looks bad. But now you can see that the reflection is like super weird. So you, want, you wanna put the shake above the transition instead when it's a zoom in. Now we're still getting double reflections at the, at the edges. So just go to the shake and zoom it in a bit. Nine, 0 0.9 should be enough. So then it all look like this instead. But like I said, don't make a zoom in like this. It's way too slow and you'll get a lot of reflections. This is just, just to show. 
how you would apply the shakes to transitions. But yeah, that's basically everything for you for this tutorial. If it helped you at all, leave a like. If it didn't, then just leave a dislike and tell me what I should do different in the future. Anyway, thanks for watching until the end and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.